What's up, everyone? Matt back for another real reaction, but this one's a little bit different. Um, it's a reaction to a featurette because Marvel, in my opinion, released some of the best featurettes that are put out there. So today I'm going to re react to this Ryan Coogler featurette about Black Panther Wakanda Forever that just dropped a little bit ago. Um, for those of you who don't know, Ryan Coogler is actually one of my favorite directors working right now. Uh, Fruitvale Station left an entirely different like response to me it was kind of the movie that helped open my eyes up to what myself as a black person may experience and granted that movie came out around the time i was graduating high school i believe or shortly thereafter so it had a really profound effect on me as someone who wasn't going to be this black kid anymore i'm a black man and that's how society sees me uh creed who can say enough about Creed? I, that's one of my favorite series right now. Michael B. Jordan's fantastic. Uh, once again, in Fruitvale Station, that's how I discovered him. Uh, so Ryan Coogler's had a pronounced, just a really pronounced effect or profound effect on my life, excuse me, as someone who views movies and how I view society and just who I am today. So I thought it'd be a great idea to watch this featurette of him talking about his experience on Wakanda forever. So without further ado, let's get this started now. We are transformed in a way through this experience. All of us very much believe that this feels like the most important movie we've ever made. That is what every crew member focused on every day and none more so than Ryan Coogler at the helm of it all. Ryan is such a big heart and such a great storyteller. The actors that he's brought together were filled with emotion and passion. Reuniting with Ryan Coogler, it was incredible. His heart is really pure. And we should protect him at all costs. <laughs> Ryan is an artist. He has the heart to listen to you to look in your eyes and go deep, not just in the story, but in your soul. When you get down to what makes this movie human, that is where Ryan really excels. I think even in a world as fantastical and as magical and as exciting as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, he just has an understanding of people. Now is our time. There's an embracing of culture. And Ryan is going a step further. And we're remembering, we're restoring, we're celebrating. Above all, it is a relationship movie. We'll have some incredible set pieces. But at the end of the day, I think what people are going to really remember is the conversations. How do you move forward after losing someone that meant so much to you? You have to continue the legacy. Wow. Um, that, that was honestly really moving and powerful. Um, hearing how his cast and crew speaks about him and how funny enough i had a, uh, a conversation with my professor today who who said she had never seen black panther the, the first one but this one had kind of interested her because of the situation and the reason being um because she doesn't care for action movies that much and funny enough what i pointed to is the fact that ryan coogler isn't there to make an action movie he's there to make a full-on story that has a purpose and tells us about some sort of human condition and this came out you know, a really timely time because or because th this just if anything hearing from this cast and crew just reinforces what i was talking about ryan coogler is just 
different. He, he's on another level compared to a lot of filmmakers today. And hearing him talk about how ultimately this is a story about relationships and moving on for, after losing a loved one, um, it's, it's powerful because a lot of people don't realize how close he was to Chadwick Boseman. And seeing interviews where he talked about where he offered to let Chad read the original draft of Black Panther 2 before his passing, what was the movie we were supposed to have? And Chad said no because he didn't want to interfere with the studio's notes. But the truth being that he was too tired to actually read it is just heartbreaking. So, I mean, for, lo for those of you who don't know, tomorrow at noon Eastern time, our review for Wakanda Forever drops. Um, so tune in for that. But just I am so proud that Black um, African Americans are able to have this type of movie, this, this type of event film to come out to and support. And I know there's a lot of people who are very anti this movie because, well, they didn't recast T'Challa. There's more than just black men that are important. We're important as a culture in general. So please go out and support this movie. Support black women. Support our culture in general. Uh, I'm seeing this tonight, and that's why their review's dropping tomorrow. So be sure to check that out. But yeah, until then, I'm Matt. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment because I want to know what you thought about anything I had to say and this featurette. So uh, yeah, until then, I'm Matt. This was another Real Reaction, and we'll see you next time.